I saw that. First question is, um, were you familiar with any of Joe's films before you got cast in it? Um, I was familiar with the Gremlins. I didn't necessarily associate Gremlins with Joe Dante um, <laughs> before I got cast in the hole. But then after uh, I got cast in the role, I went out and I watched some of his stuff, like the Gremlins. And uh, I actually just recently saw The Burb. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Cool, cool. Yeah. And um, did using 3D cameras in the film, does that affect the way you... Um, work as an actor? A little bit. Uh, using 3D cameras wasn't wasn't too different um, as far as acting goes because, um, you know, I'm still, like, having a conversation in the scene. I'm still thinking the same thoughts that I would um, if it was just a 2D camera. The, the biggest thing was the camera was just bigger and kind yeah. of more awkward looking. Um, it was really cool that we, we shot in, uh, in real 3D, so we did use, like, the actual 3D cameras, and uh, they had one camera kind of sticking out towards you like they do normally. But then they had like a mirror and then another camera facing you down. So it was really cool. Okay. And obviously there's, there's a bit of green screen effects towards the end of the film, isn't it? Yeah. How are you, do you like working that way? Or do you find it a challenge? Um, yeah, it is a little different with green screen just because normally you are imagining something that's not there. So you don't have any visual, um, you know, any anything to kind of create. It's all in your imagination, basically. They normally just like put a piece of tape on the <laughs> on the green sheet and say, "That's the monster," you know. <laughs> like, so um, so yeah, it, it takes a little more imagination, but it's always fun. I like using my imagination. Good, good. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> I mean, your two biggest films to date, this one and the Vampire Assistant, they're kind of in the f the fantasy genre. Is that yeah? Is that something you personally? interests you? Do you yeah, yeah, I really like um, just doing fantasy movies. I really like creating things in my mind and just kind of uh, sci-fi aspects are really, really something that I enjoy. And um, one of the things that's really cool about The Hole for me was that, um, you know, each character kind of has um, their own fear and it's, it's a psych psychological thing um, that relates to each character. And so, um, it was cool for me because just kind of along with the whole fantasy genre, it's it was really kind of dealing with what you're afraid of. And so a lot of times, you know, something that you're afraid of can be like a fantasy or, you know, something that you imagine. And so it was cool for me watching the film. I just saw it for the first time the other day. Okay. Excellent, excellent. And then um, is there any, like, coming up next, have you got anything on? Uh, well, I'm going to L.A. Um, right after this, actually, and uh, I'm working on a couple different things. Uh, there's there's some things in the works, but nothing nothing's for sure yet. So. And is there anyone in the sort of long list of directors, filmmakers that you'd really love to work with? It. Um, I really want to work with uh, Jodie Foster, okay. and I, I just heard um, I think she's directing like her first movie. Um, either she just did it or she's doing it right now. I think be really interesting to see how she is as a director because I've, I've always wanted to work with her as an actress um I really like her and uh I really like work I'd want to work with Mel Gibson and like Denzel Washington and, and people like that so the real big hitters yeah yeah and and I, I you know I like working with people who've had a little more experience too not just you know people who are big overnight kind of thing